Today we're at the Golden Swan restaurant. We're gonna have their specialty dim sum. And then uh, we're gonna try uh, making some of the recipes ourselves at home. So this is the taro root dumpling. You have that honeycomb effect. You have the flaky effect. So the outside is crispy. Oh, look at that. Wow, I'm very impressed with this. Inside's got the nice uh, soft dough surrounding the uh, savory filling. So I'm gonna try this right now. Very nice. So you can also see all the uh, the flakiness of this dumpling. See all all the flakiness that just falls off. So that's a sign of a good uh, taro root dumpling. Look at the honeycomb effect here. So you have the nice uh, uh, filling inside here with the pork with the nice sauce. So surrounded by the wrapper, which is uh, soft. Chewy with the taro root. Today we're at uh, Cindy's Palace. Uh, this is a great place for dim sum. I think it's a house converted into a restaurant. So let's go check it out. This is a real nice uh, dining room here. It's got the pink uh, covers on the chairs. So this is the uh, taro root dumpling. So the uh, measure of a good taro root dumpling, you have the honeycomb effect on the surface. The yellow in the inside. I don't particularly like this kind of color, but uh, let's see what it tastes like. That's a tasty uh, dumpling. Just the coloration is a little bit off. That kind of color doesn't look so good. <laughs> Today we have a recipe for taro puff dumpling, also known as wu gok in Chinese. So this is the uh, taro root. You just use this for uh, dumplings, taro root dumplings. You can buy it by the piece like this. You don't need to buy the whole one. Uh, the whole one, uh, you know, unless you have a lot of recipes, just buy a piece like this. Here we have about two pounds or 908 grams of taro root. So first just cut off the skin from the outside. Next, cut the taro root into slices. It's good to keep them thin, so about a quarter inch thick, for easier cooking and easier mashing. Put the taro root into a steamer and steam for 25 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, you can make the filling for the dumplings. For this recipe, we have six ounces of ground pork, half a cup of chopped carrots, three to four Chinese mushrooms. We soak it first for at least an hour and chop into small pieces. We have half a cup of this uh, Chinese uh, radish. We have uh, about a cup and a half of chikama, which is chopped up. So this is called chikama. So it's similar to uh, texture as a uh, water chestnut. Uh, substitute uh, the water chestnut for this. It uh, has a nice crispy texture. Works really well for dumplings. Stir fry the ingredients. So you can add some carrots right into the Let the filling cool off while we prepare the dumpling dough. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. It's been about half an hour so we're gonna check the uh, taro root. You can tell it's uh, cooked all the way through by sticking a fork in it and it should tear away easily. Put the taro root in a large bowl and mash with a spoon. This is wheat starch which will act as a binder. 
Here we have a three quarter cup of uh, wheat starch. I'm gonna put it in the bowl here. And then we got uh, probably about a quarter cup of hot boiling water. I have some extra just in case. We'll start with a quarter cup right now and just mix it in slowly. So now I'm just gonna add about a half teaspoon of salt. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. Put the wheat starch into the taro root and mix together. Now we have about eight tablespoons of lard, or you can use cooking oil, such as corn oil. So it's roughly eight pats of lard, it converts to about a quarter cup. So I'm gonna stick this uh, into the fridge for about half an hour. It's been about half an hour, so take the dough out of the fridge and give it a quick uh, knead. And then roll the dough into two rolls. So here we portion out 12 extra large dumplings. Or you can make about 24 regular sized dumplings. To make the dumplings, just simply roll the dough into a ball. Then flatten with your hands. So you need about uh, one to two tablespoons of filling for a regular sized dumpling. Add more filling for the extra large dumpling. But it's better not to overfill the dumpling. You don't need to be too fussy about shaping the dumpling. Just bring both sides together and make sure the edges are tightly squeezed so the ingredients don't leak out. So I'm using peanut oil here. So I'm just going to put a little piece of dough in there just to see if it's hot enough. So it should um, have bubbles around it. So it's looking pretty good. Lower the dumpling gradually about halfway in. And let it Same deep fry for a few good. seconds. Same way again. It takes about three to five minutes to cook the dumplings. So bring the dumplings in and out of the oil. And when they turn golden brown, they're ready to be served. If the dumplings are sticking to the ladle, just give them a quick tap from the bottom to loosen them up. There you have it. A traditional treat called Taro Puff Dumpling, also known as Wu Gok in Chinese. Enjoy. Ooh, look at that. This is a taro root dumpling. It's got the honeycomb surface. Mmm, it's very nice. It's got the soft uh, taro root inside with the savory uh, f filling. You gotta try this. Thanks for checking out my video and please give me a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel and please subscribe.